What is up guys, Awesome Nurcho here, back again playing Jurassic World Evolution, continuing with our gameplay of building Jura my version of Jurassic World, and so we're progressing quite a long, long, uh, quite a ways, but of course I'm not exactly happy with where we need to be, because of course, if you keep up with Jurassic World Evolution and pay attention to all this stuff, we found out that there is going to be, um, an update coming up here in a couple weeks, and I was hoping to have this uh, map done before any new updates came out and stuff so we have a lot of work to get done today so today we are releasing the hadrosaurids um so we've got the edmonton sources and i forget if i need more i have a feeling let's see if i got the corn source and the other one so i do need to check on those so those just need one and i did two uh let's check out the coretha sources those need two Okay, so technically those are done, but let's just check on some. So, Miasasaur, those need four. Mudabur sources we have not done yet. I know Parasaurus need four. So, I'm trying to think if I should just do four of each. Then we have Cynthia, four. I might as It's going to be a lot, but I might as well. So, we have Centiles, um, Parasaurs, Miasasaur. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just do the Edmonton sources here and I've uh, I'm already w released to them so I already know they're pretty good oh shoot let's see what colors we got first before I do this to make sure so we've got oh that one looks so cool with its blue head that one is I forget there it is it's wetland so we have wetland that's the same one why can't I click this one? There we go. Should be good now. Wetland and rainforest. Okay. So then we've got to go in here. So there's the wetland and rainforest. So we'll do tundra. Oh no. And woodland there. So then we'll get all of those. Okay, so let's check out the Coretha sources. We've got uh, Rainforest and Vivid. Rainforest and Vivid. So let's go up to here. So we've got Vivid, Rainforest. So we'll do Jungle. And then, so we did Rainforest. Uh, do you want Tiger or Woodland? I think we'll go with taiga because i like that orange hopefully there'll be some orange in there as well so i will get all of these processed and move them over so this is going to be uh you know much uh like cut up episode because i'm going to try and get different things going so i'm going to cut them up and once i get them moved in there i'll like you know move these all into there then do the next batch and then we need to start building over here i need to figure out the configuration of what I want to do for sure. Okay, so we can't do that, maybe. Actually, let's go ahead and delete that road. Yeah, it's obstructed. Okay, so from here. We'll then bring it off like this maybe. And then of course I'll have to put enclosures and everything. And let's go ahead. I'm going to have to rearrange all this I know. Straighten that up. And we'll delete this path out right there just for now. Actually let's go ahead and just straighten this up completely. Let's delete this little corner out. And now we'll connect both of those like that. Okay. So there we have our straight path down. And 
again. Oh, are they already done? They are already done. Okay, so let's get the helicopter over here to knock out all of these. <clears throat> hey, that one looks cool too. It looks... Pretty sure I didn't do the same pattern, but if I did, oh well. But I'm pretty sure I chose different, but I may have just got it messed up and wrong. But oh well. I like the way it looks, so it's fine anyways. There we go. So these, I think, should be done or about done. There we go. wait for that one to go down of course then we gotta wait the other one to be released <laughs> like how it's going in a circle here there we go and now we can do this last one okay so I will get those transferred over let's go ahead and start on our next ones real quick which will be miasasaur in this one and then Mutaburasauruses will be in the one that the Quarry of the Sauruses came out of. So I will come back once those are done and ready to go. So I will see you then. Okay, so I got all of these two sets done. Oh, no, I didn't because I forgot that uh, for some reason uh, these Mutaburasauruses require six. So I have to make two more of those, unfortunately. But we'll go ahead and get the helicopters coming out over here. As you can see in the background, I have been working on trying to come up with a config. I need to figure out. I don't think I'm going to be able to get every dino in the park here, which is kind of sad. Like I was hoping for that, but you know, I can only do what I can do. Oh no, we got a sick dino. Hopefully none of those other dinos get sick. Oh yeah, I forgot to look at all these. Look at the Edmonton sources, and then we've got a um, Carithosaurus just walking in between them. Well, these three all look the same. So we've got Tundra, Woodland. Of course, that one looks different. That was Rainforest. And Wetland pretty much all look exactly the same. That's kind of funny. But I'm over here trying to come up again with these different little arrangements and everything. I don't really know. Let's get our the other Mudabur sources going real quick. I think yeah, I went all the way down there. So I don't think I did Tundra. And then I think I got to do... No diseased dinosaurs yeah, the Null Gene one. Okay, so that's Mudabura sources. Now let's come back over here. And so we got that. Next is Parasaurs. Those need four. I was thinking five for some reason, but they only need four. So what colors do we want? So one, two, three. I guess we'll just do these four. So we'll start with Savannah. I hope I've modified. Let me check real quick. And it is good to go. So we'll do that one and then change it again to Woodland. And there we go, so we get those incubating up while those other motor services. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to figure out a whole design. I don't want to need anything too fancy. And like I said, I just need enclosures really because I have the um, comfortability and stuff turned off. So the dinos aren't going to get too uncomfortable and stuff. Well, let's go here and we will add in one of these platforms. Right in the center there. My fence is a little off, but, you know, <laughs> I'll worry about that later. I just planted this one as a uh, starting point type thing. Let's go ahead and delete that one off. I'm trying to, f again, I don't remember how many things I need. I'll just create a, you know, bunch of different ones. Go a little bit further that way. I 
Ow, this angle is really annoying me. Let's just start here. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of angle there. There we go. Then we'll bring it around to this side. Connect it there. And we will bring it back over in here. Uh, about to there. That should be good. And then we'll put more platform or viewing things and stuff on this side. Any of those done yet? Nope. Okay, so I will get these all moved over once these two are done. I'll get those moved over. And I think that only leaves us one more, I think, the Cinosaurs, but could be wrong. Um, but I'll get those started and, of course, release these Parasaurs once they get done as well. Oh, I need to transport these over. So I will just get this all worked on and bring it back to you once everything is all set down. Um, the next set is ready to go. So I will see you then. Okay, and so I think they are all set to go now. So we have the Centosaurs. I released them into both because I already got the Parasaurs moved and everything. So we sh these should be the last set of Hadrosaurs that go into the enclosure because it's already loaded up and packed over here, as you can see. That's just what I love seeing all the dinos like all together and everything. It looks cool. This one, you know, big enclosure for spaced out dinos, and then they just kind of get full. Oh, look at the Maminchisaurus, the Camarasaurus. Those look cool too. And there, so we've got these. Let's go ahead and start tranking them. Setting additional task. Confirmed. There we go. That's all for them. So I have been working on the enclosures again. It's nothing too fancy. Like, I don't like it, but, you know, it's just what I'm going to go for. I think I counted, and I need nine enclosures. And as you can see, I end up getting four, five, six, of course, for this. And then I think I can get two more here. So I think I'm going to be, like, one short, maybe. Um, actually, I don't know if I counted this as a part of that nine or not. Um, but that's just all the, like, separate dinos. Then, of course, I have the small dinos that I'm going to stick in with different ones and everything. Um, so, yeah, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this. I've been trying to think about this, but I will have it done by the next episode. So, next week will probably be the final episode. So, all it'll be, I'll work on this, um, getting this set up and, um, then work on... Uh, getting the next episode will be getting all the dinos into these areas so this will be the t-rex spino here and then i don't know maybe since the bigger one over here like a the uh giga maybe um and then just go like smaller dinos, the smaller like one or two dinos into those but this i'm gonna probably just split in half i'll do like a dividing line i guess i can maybe try and add the path already maybe straight off of i forgot there's fence right here click it there we go and let's try and just add a path I'll probably fix it and adjust it let's just go straight out down over here may not be perfect there we go so then we'll have an enclosure over here and then one over here as well so we'll get most of them probably won't get all of them as you can probably see but let's go ahead and get these all transported in over asset. here. Asset requiring collection. Get all the Sintos or Sin I don't know how to say Sintos. Not really sure. But I think it's coming along now. Unfortunately I will have issues um, with the management stuff. Like well of course there's no one in there, so um, we won't have issues with that now, but like the food and ratings and everything will drop dramatically once I get this set up. Let's see if we can plop one of these. Yeah, I don't think they're going to fit anywhere over here. I didn't leave enough room. This was kind of weird and messed up, so I made a little angle thing in there. Let's just go with a small one, I guess. I'll put two in if I have to. Might as well stick one like right there. Asset has been collected. And then put another one over here somewhere.
Come on, rotate around. Here we go. And we'll get it facing the other direction. Not exactly perfect, but it'll just have to do. There we go. All the enclosures are set up and open now. Asset delivery confirmed. There we go. Just complete that little circuit there. Delivery complete. Delivery complete. So we should be. We've got one. I was like, what's going on? We've got one left. I better drop it. And I think that is it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's none left in there. So look at all of the hadrosaurs in here. Let's look at the view. Look at them all in there. That looks really cool. Look at all of the hadrosaurs. Or hadrosaurs, whatever you call them. They're everywhere. There's so many, many of them. It's so cool. Look, even the stegosaurs are over there flipping out. So that is really cool. So that, I think, is going to be it for the episode today. So we got all the hadrosaurs edited into the park of course we got our indirect stuff over there cool and then i of course started building all of these enclosures for all of the carnivores or you know as many of the car i should probably straighten this up over here um oh, i just deleted that path didn't i um straighten this up real quick let's add a new enclosure get it kind of straightened up in the center good enough there okay so that's going to be it for this episode as i mentioned and so i hope you enjoyed we're almost done look at all the park oh and i did hear um i don't know if it's real or not but i thought i heard with this new update they're going to be increasing the size of the park which would you know if they increase the size i don't know how they would do it but then we'd definitely be able to fit um you know all our dinos in and stuff but i don't know if it'll retroactively or if it's just with the new stuff I'm not exactly sure but like i said we got the hadrosaurs and then i got started building all my enclosures here for the park and everything so i want to thank you all for watching if you enjoyed please let me know in the comments down below don't forget to subscribe to the channel to check out more jurassic world evolution videos and not this next week because next week on the day that the video comes out will be the day that the new update is released supposedly so then that next week will be the new update so i'll be playing that sort of stuff so i hope you come and check that out and watch me play that and i want to thank you all for watching and i hope you join me later on to continue with the build of dress world thank you all and i will see you next time Bye.